Okay, so I hear, well, what's the ringing announcer's name? Samantha Irvin? Okay. So I hear Samantha Irvin, you know, come on, come on the mic. She's about to call out someone. I, and I don't know if I'm hearing this right, but I'm about to play the clip, man. I, I, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Here, here it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ludwig Kaiser. Gentlemen, please welcome Ludwig Kaiser. Huh? And please welcome Ludwig Kaiser. Ludwig Kaiser? Ludwig. Ludwig, huh? The fuck is a Ludwig? Louis Kaiser. Bro, he didn't even get a fucking pop, bro. Bro, that's really just sad, bro. He did not get a pop. <laughs> they changed their theme music. They broke this group up. I don't know if we pronounce ring general differently than what Ludwig said there, but... Bro, what did they do to y'all, bro? Imperium is done. They DOA. It brutalizes people. I've never seen them come out in a different color top of gear. They, they always came out in black gear. Are they coming out in red gear? Oh, you are DOA, bro. Who is Louis Kaiser? No, bro, y'all just ruined these guys, bro. You just ruined these guys. Well, like, seriously, y'all just ruined them. You broke up Imperium. Now you brought up two thirds in them. Now you're leaving someone down at NXT. He's about to get released. They did the same thing with Alexander Wolf. I believe he was in the group. I believe Alexander Wolf was in the group. They hit them out of the group, and then days later, he gets released. Now they're gonna do the same thing with Fabian Knightner. He's gonna get on. He's gonna get released. I'll tell you that. They changed this man's name to Louis Kaiser, or Louis Kaiser. Or how you? How the, f the freak you pronounce it? Just why? This guy didn't even get a a, a pop. This guy did not even get a re reaction. You know why? Because nobody watched NXT. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. No wonder no no wonder people don't watch NXT. Because the shit you pull off right right here. No wonder nobody watches it. No wonder nobody watches watches the show on Tuesday nights. No wonder. Because you do stuff like this. Ron Breaker don't even, doesn't even get a pop. You know why? Because nobody watched NXT. Grayson Wall didn't get a pop when, when he showed up. Nobody watches it. Do you blame him? No. Because when Triple H was uh, was running it, that's when the, the crowd would pop. Oh, what a chop! I can hear that in Appleton. What is Guther planning to do here? Making Alonzo suffer. He has a five count. He just put his big ass boot right in the Joe Alonzo's mouth. Both are an imposing individual. Excuse me. Face. I mentioned the no soul thing. He, I've never seen this dude with a smile on his face. That is Ludwig Kaiser at ringside as we take another look at the boot from Guther collapsing the face of Mr. Alonzo. Marcel Bartel. Did you hear that? And I felt that. And the scowl, the never changing expression on the face of Gunther. Oh, as he just continues to pound away on Joe Alonzo's sternum. Sorry about it, Joe Alonzo. You're the first of many. Oh, my goodness. You caught him in the collarbone on that one. Sounded like he hit a cymbal. Milwaukee's calling for another one of their guys. And Guther, oh! Walter. 
The guy's name is fucking Walter. Did you hear what he said? I, what did he say there? Is that our language or no? No idea. Alright. You can ask him. You hear the crowd? You hear the crowd? Walter. Walter. And now, a Gunther chant starts. Gunther. No, Pat McAfee. You're, you're, hearing, Wal you're hearing Walter chants. One, two, three. Gunther with the victory. Where is he? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get this company. You're talking about bringing LA Knight as a manager. You're, Raquel Gonzalez is getting, is getting a, a name change. Imperium's, Imperium's going to get hit road, man. They might get hit road. You know, I was listening I was listening to JD last night. Shout out to him. Great channel. Great podcast. Um... I was listening to him. I, he believes they're going to get hit road. He believes they'll be gone in, in the next 12 months. And Walter and AEW, when is, when is this guy? Once this guy gets released, Tony Khan's going to hit him up. Maybe he gets the whole, he, maybe he gets the whole, the whole trio of Imperium. I would love to see Imperium versus the Elite. With Omega in the books. Imperium versus, versus another Undisputed Era match. I'll take that. Imperium versus Death Triangle. Imperium versus the House of Black. Appearing versus who else? Who else is a trio? God, there's so many goddamn factions. Um, appearing versus LAX. Appearing versus Jericho Appreciation Society. Who knows? Appearing versus the Blackpool Combat Club. Oh, that'd be a big. <laughs> well, take my money. Imperium versus the Blackpool Combat Club. Take my money. Take my money, man. Oh, we got okay. Welcome, my guest, a brand new superstar looking to make a similar impact, Raquel Rodriguez. What the? Raquel Rodriguez? Raquel, welcome to SmackDown. Now, do you have a message for this what SmackDown a... locker room? What? <sighs> Little piece. Kayla, SmackDown has one of the most impressive female locker rooms in the entire WWE. But I can guarantee. They've never seen anything like me. Meet a man. Can I help you? Uh, hello. This is Raquel. Raquel Rodriguez. Allow me to introduce ourselves. I am Humberto. And I'm Angel, better known as the Lethal Lovers Los Lotharios. Welcome to SmackDown. And Gracias. as is tradition, we Do you want Adam Shit to murder to murder y'all boys? Do y'all want Braun Strowman to murder y'all? Thank you, Raquel. Braun Strowman was about to murder y'all, bro. Adam Shear. <laughs> Are those guys always this annoying? You want Adam Shear to murder to murder these two? Sorry, Holy crap, bro! What did they do? They changed Raquel Gonzalez's name to Raquel Rodriguez. Is that going to get over on the main roster? I don't see Raquel Gonzalez uh, succeeding on the main roster anyway. Holy crap, bro. Raquel Rodriguez. No, 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 no. Raquel Gonzalez is D-O-A. Dead on arrival. Why? Why do we need to change names? Why do we need to change presentation? Why do we have to change up their look, their presentation, the entrance, the vibe? You change everything that comes out of Triple H. Oh, no, 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 no. If you come out of Triple H's NXT, ah, uh, hold on, man. We're going to have to slim you down a little bit, young brother. We're going to have to cut your balls off. Hold on, little nigga. Like, are you just... Why? Just why? Raquel Gonzalez didn't have a good title reign. I think Dakota Kai should, should have an NXT Women's women's Championship, and she better win Tuesday. Please, for the love of God, put the championship on Dakota Kai on Tuesday. Keep her away from the main roster. Because she's better off, she, Dakota Kai is better off on NXT until her contract is up. When do we start talking about Dakota Kai versus Deanna Parrazzo? Dakota Kai versus Tasha Steeles. Dakota Kai versus Chelsea Green. Dakota Kai versus Giselle Shaw. Dakota Kai versus Lady, Lady Frost. Io Shirai, 
She's supposed to be called up to the main roster. Do you see Io Shirai succeed on the main roster? No. So when do we start talking about Io Shirai versus Thunder Rosa, Io Shirai versus Britt Breaker, Io Shirai versus Statlander, Io Shirai versus Sheeta, Io Shirai versus Ty Conti, Io Shirai versus Jay Cargill? When do we start talking about these those matches? Because guarantee you, once Io, when Io Shirai's contract is up, or when Io Shirai, even worse, gets released, oh, Tony Khan will be waiting for Io Shirai. Tony Khan will be picking up the phone for Io Shirai. Scott Demore will be waiting on Dakota Kai. Scott Demore will be, will be waiting on, on Raquel. Io Shirai and Dakota Kai are better off staying in NXT until the contract expires. Kaylee Ray. When is Tony Khan, When do we start talking about the same matches with Kaylee Ray? Kaylee Ray versus Thunder Rosa. Kaylee Ray versus Britt. Shira Britt Sheeta, Statlander, Con Cargill, Conti, um, Tony Storm, uh, who else? Ruby Soho. Or Kaylee Ray versus Bianca Perazzo, Kaylee Ray versus Chelsea Green, Kaylee Ray, Kaylee Ray versus um, Tasha Steeles. When do we start talking about those matches? When do we start talking about those? Because as soon as they get released or their contracts come up, oh, you know Tony Khan will be waiting for them. You know Scott Demore will be waiting for them. Your company is going. Your, your company is in shambles, and you're not going to get at. You're sinking. You're sinking in the water deeper and deeper and deeper. You are drowning yourself. It's gonna. It's gonna hit you one day. It's gonna hit you one day, Vince. We. What's gonna happen when Shasha can't do it no more? What's gonna happen when Shasha wants to go Hollywood, or maybe her contract expires? She doesn't want to resign with the company, and maybe she jumps ship to AEW. What about Becky Lynch? What what, 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 you gonna, what what you gonna do with Becky Lynch doesn't want to do it full time anymore? What if she can't do it full time? What if she wants to go and be a full time mother? What you gonna do when Charlotte doesn't want to be with the company anymore? I don't want to see her in AEW. I won't. I won't support her in AEW. But shit, Andrade's there, her fiance. What are you gonna do when uh when Bailey can't do it full time anymore? What are you gonna do? You got Rock. You got Rock C. You got Rock C, a top female, one of the best female professional wrestlers in your industry. What are you going to do with her? Like I said, don't change her name. Don't change her gimmick. You don't need to change nothing about the woman because her name already has name value. She already gives you that, that vibe. She can, she can make the show. She, she might make the show watchable. I don't know. You know, Rock C is a beautiful woman. Shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? But she's very good in the ring. You don't need to change nothing up about her. You don't need to change her name, gimmick, presentation, look. Just take what Rita Vara did to her and apply it. But no, oh, it's too indie. We can't do that. Got Mandy Rose as the NFC champion. Put the belt on Dakota Kai. And have her put over Roxy and she's gone. Very simple. You have creatively botched Dakota Kai. Simple. But all these guys coming to the main roster, if you're a Triple H product, don't even think of, don't even think about them succeeding on the main roster because they're all gonna fail. And you wonder why Adam Cole left. You wonder why Kyle O'Reilly left. You wonder why Johnny Gargano left. You fired Aleister Black. You fired Keith Lee. You fired um, Killer Cross. Who else? Tommaso Champions contract expires in June. You think you'll resign with the company? I hope not. Kelsey Ray's not coming back to WWE. Her contract expires in May. Why would she come back? They're not gonna treat her well. They don't care that two women's wrestling. It's really, it's really messed up. Santos Escobar's name gotta come up on the budget cuts, most likely. It's really, it's really sad, bro. Anything that comes out of Triple H, no, they're not. They, they won't do nothing about it. They won't. They're not gonna. They're not gonna keep them the same way. They won't present them the same way. They're not gonna take and apply what Triple H did because it's not their creation, and it's fucked up. Really, is messed up, bro.
really is messed up.